Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Cars games for the 360 and PS3. Cars, the video game, is awesome. It's one of the most beloved time games, and not for no reason. You get free roam. You can roam Radiator Springs and its surroundings. And the map is huge, for that time it was released, because originally this game was released on PS2 and GameCube. And the gameplay is awesome. You even have four ways to race. You have option one, brake and turn. Two, power slide, or you can handbrake drift. Or go on two wheels. And you don't just race. You get to play with different characters too and fulfill different tasks. The game has lots of mini games like going with Mater to scare tractors, or chasing down people as the sheriff, or collecting tires as Luigi. And not only this, the game is chock full of content. You can race as a monster truck, you can have a derby with rusty cars, you can just chill in Radiator Springs which is incredibly beautiful at night. All in all, this game is a masterpiece. It's a love letter to all cars fans out there. Playing this game gives you a nostalgia trip for sure. And the good type of nostalgia trip since the game, even for adult, is pretty good. Also on the 360, you get some extra mini games that weren't featured on the PS2. You even get more content in this version, making the game even better. Cars Metal National Championship has the same game engine and gameplay formula as the previous one. It has free roam and lots and lots of content. As differences, I can list the new story, obviously, the track designs are different, they are more complex now, having more narrow passages and tight turns. You'll need to drift or slow down more in the more complicated tracks here than in the previous game. Also the car physics are different, they aren't better or worse, just different. Also there are no piston cups and in their place you get this rally cars with annoying personalities. There is a new race mode. The relay races where you switch characters at each checkpoint and you get the same mini games as in the previous one, plus this one. Overall, even if the game is very similar to the other one, I consider it poorer than Cars 2006. It's hard to describe it, but once you start playing, you can notice that this game is more rushed. The content isn't as cohesive as in the other one and the writing is more rushed. And on a second thought, the controls are worse too. They are different and they aren't really that much worse, but still, they are worse than in the previous one, in my opinion. But even so, it still remains a really solid and good game. Cars Race Rama uses the same great gameplay formula the other games use. You get free roam, lots of races and mini games. The controls are better now, giving you more control when driving. The graphics have been super boosted. In fact, the game is fantastic, and not only for tying game standards. It's enjoyable for normal game standards too. Also, they nailed in this game what made the first one great: the sheer amount of content. Here too, you get lots of mini games, and not only this. But you get more tracks and even ones that aren't set in Radiated Springs or the Piston Cup. And you can even free room in those new areas of the game. And the game even inclines me to call it the best out of the free room trilogy. As the drift controls are awesome and I consider them superior to the controls in the other two games. Just cruising through Radiator Springs is awesome with these controls. You can drift Radiator Springs from one end to the other. It's very satisfying and it's like some sort of sick combo move in Need for Speed Carbon. And not only that you get the controls, but you also get new maps to roam in and new mini games so that the game remains the same content powerhouse it was from the beginning. This trilogy, these three games, aren't just tying games, they are an homage to all Cars fans out there. If you grew up watching Cars, or 
if you like the franchise. Or if you want some relaxing games to play, I recommend you to try one of these three games. They are amazing. Cars 2 changes the gameplay formula and not for the good. You don't get free roam anymore and you don't get a story either. You have a hub and can select missions from there. Also the racing isn't just racing anymore. The game is a kart racer, but at least it's a good kart racer. The controls are nice and with the extra controls like the ability to jump or tilt your car in ways a normal car can do that sort of handling, it's pretty good. Also aside of kart racing you get battle arenas too and collectathon races. You get a big cast of characters, 35 and you can add 23 more via downloadable content. The tracks look great and so do the graphics overall. You can see a big graphical boost from the previous one to this one. The gameplay is great, but having a story would have made the game even better. Cars 3 Driven to Win uses the same mechanics and same game engine as Cars 2, but some things were replaced. The battle stages and collected thrones are gone and were replaced with stunt challenges and destruction derbies, where you have to destroy a certain amount to pass. Also now you get more story. You get a few story missions, but still, even if you get a few cutscenes, that still doesn't mean that the game has a story. The missions aren't cohesive enough and are rare. On the downside the game only has 23 playable characters, but on the plus side, even if the gameplay is very similar to Cars 2, it's, it's better. The gameplay is better than Cars 2. Cars 3 has less annoying objectives and feels like it has a better fun percentage. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You would help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.